Hello friends, welcome to Techno Electricals. So today we can talk about rotating magnetic field of synchronous motor. So today's topic is rotating magnetic field of synchronous motor. So the question is how to generate the rotating magnetic field. So here So here is the status in this diagram let us assume that the three phases A E dash B B dash and C C dash three phase supply three phase A C supply is given to the stator or we can say that three phase alternating current supply is given to the three phase synchronous motor the field of any phase is depend on the current drawn on it so when the current is at zero then the field will also be zero and when the current reaches from zero to its maximum value then the field will also reaches at its maximum value so now let us see the whole process of current is going from low value to high value and high value to low value so in this diagram these poles can be placed at the displacement of 120 degree a these poles can be placed in in the displacement of 120 degree so the angle between all these three faces is 120 degree so now the field which is in this position will be at maximum value why this can be explained through the waveform of the three phase supply given to the stator now the maximum value is drawn in the field called a a dash this is a and a dash so at this stage the strength of the field is also maximum this is the position where the field gets maximum so then the next phase B B dash this is B B dash and the supply given to the third phase is C C dash so as you can see that the angle between these three phases is 120 degree now at this stage the waveform of the current is maximum the current is at maximum value so then at next stage the phase B starts rising the value and reaches to the maximum value and A A dash will be starts to decrease and falls to zero then same in case of C 
as sea starts rising as sea starts rising then b starts decreasing and falls to zero and then the cycle repeats continuously so this means that every phase out of three phases will gain its maximum value one by one gain its maximum value one by one so that the rotating magnetic field is produced so let us take an example that if we fitted some bulbs uh, suppose this is a circular board okay and if we fitted some bulbs in the circular board in the circular board suppose these are the bulbs we are installed in this circular board then what happened and connections of these bulbs can be done in such a way that the bulb can on and off on and off one by one or in a serial wise then you can feel that the light is rotating in a circle so likewise the magnetic field is producing so this is the process by which rotating my ma rotating magnetic field is produced so now if squirrel cage winding rotor is placed in these types of magnetic field then the torque is generated and the rotor rotates so to to start to make these motors self starting we can use tempo winding which we will learn in our next video that how can we make the motor self start